This video highlights some of the advanced scanning capabilities of the Agilent 34980A when used in conjunction with its companion Benchlink Data Logger Pro software. We'll show you how to use multiple scan lists, how to set limits for scan channels within those lists, how to create scripts, and how to use events to run those scripts. We'll also show you how to use events to call other scan lists, and finally how to configure scan stop and start conditions. We've already connected to our 34980A. It's an eight slot mainframe. We have two slots filled with two different cards, two different modules. I'm going to look at the first scan that we're going to run. The first scan is going to monitor oven temperature. We're going to monitor it with a 10K ohm thermistor. Okay, it's going to scan that one channel. Now we want to look at limits within the temperature. So I've set up two different uh, high, high level and low level temperatures. So it's got to be between 24 and 26 degrees C. And I'm going to look at that until I see it uh, within those limits for five different scans to make sure the uh, oven temperature has evened out uh, and stabilized. Then I'm going to switch over to actually test my device under test. It's a small power supply. I'm going to look at the power in. I'm going to look at the frequency output. And I'm also going to look at a 3-volt uh, AC and uh, the 5-volt DC outputs. Okay, so we're going to set up some scripts. We go to the script manager. When I get into the script manager, I can edit scripts. Uh, as you can see, it's opening. Uh, script manager is looking at the instruments. There's actually two instruments, the 34980 and an E3631A power supply. This first step opens the switches and uh, connects the device. Uh, in the second one, this actually turns the power supply on and off. So we're going to look at this a little more uh, in a little more detail, and I'll show you in a while how scripts are actually connected by events later uh, later on. Okay, so we're going to add a new script. I'm going to go in here and um, type in a name. I'm going to call it Cro uh, Program Power Supply. So I'm going to program the power supply. To do that, I'm actually going to send some commands. Uh, I'm going to use what's called Skippy commands, standard commands for programmable instrumentation. I won't go through all the details, but as you can see here, I'm going to type in some uh, commands. First, I'm going to reset and then clear the status of the, uh, the power supply. Okay, so I've finished setting up my script. I not only do I reset it, I'm going to apply a voltage, turn on the output power, and delay for 500 milliseconds. I can test the script, which I just did, and it verifies that yes, those are all valid commands. Seem to like them, so I'll go ahead and close out the script manager. And we're going to come up here and configure events and show you how the scan list, the events, and the scripts all interact. So the events that you want running when the uh, during the warm up. First off, we're going to start the scan, okay, and we're going to go ahead and um, close the fixture and turn the oven on. Once it hits the limit, remember it's going to be between 24 and 26 degrees C for five seconds or five scans. Then we're going to go ahead and run the power, uh, the, the actual program to set up the power supply and check the device under test. Okay, so. Here we indicate, yes, at the device under test, that's what we want to do at that point. So we go ahead and go OK, and we go down and look at the event, which is the uh, test dot. Remember, we're going to run it for eight scans, and when it stops, we're going to turn off the power supply, we're going to turn off the oven, and we're going to open the fixture. So at that point, I'm also going to I have a beep, and I'm going to um, log, the, uh, log the data from the events. So let's go ahead and set up the scanning. First scan I'm going to do with the oven warm up. I'm going to set that up so it happens immediately. As soon as I turn on the uh, uh, hit the green button, I want the oven to start warming up. Okay, and it's going to keep running continuously until I tell it to stop, or until the event happens that it stabilizes it uh, between 24 and 26 degrees C. Then we're going to go to the test dot. Here I want to set it up to actually do some scanning, and I want to have it scan for eight scans. So that's why I've entered eight there. And at this point, we should be OK, and we're set up and ready to go. OK, so we're going to try and run it. I want to graph it first. I want to set up a graph, and then I'm going to go ahead and click the Start button. It'll download to the instruments and tell the instruments what to do and the sequence in which to do it. OK, and then it starts running, and you'll see that uh, once we run, you start seeing the temperature of the oven come up. You'll notice there's a countdown here. I'm up to three, four, five scans, and so forth. Okay, it's starting to uh, stabilize. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I've had five successive uh, sequ sequential uh, readings that are within 
the, uh, the limit. So we start counting on our scan where we're actually scanning data. Now this is going to go for eight scans. You'll notice that it's giving uh, data. It's color-coded so you can track it. It's also recording all this data internally. So after eight scans, it's going to stop. Now it stops at 19. It started at 11, so sure enough, eight times. Okay, so now I want to export the data. I'm going to click on Export Data. It has a name for it already. I'm good with that. I'm going to go ahead and keep the keep it, but I want to put it in comma separated variable or CSV uh, format. So I'm going to export the file. It comes up and uh, has a suggested name. Okay, I'm good with that. And it tells me where it wants to put it. I'm good with that. So I go ahead and close it out. And we're done. Okay, so we've shown you how to uh, use the advanced capabilities, how to set up uh, multiple scan lists and set limits for scan channels within those scan lists, how to create scripts, and how to use events to call and run those scripts how to use events to call on another scan list, and finally how to configure scan start stop conditions. For more information you can go to www.agilent.com slash find slash 34988. Thanks.